Welcome to Borneo. I'm excited. We have just arrived at the airport checking in and I'm excited. I mean, this is like a trip I've been wanting to do for a long time and it's finally coming true with my bestie. Hey, what's our Ready for our trip. We are on our way to orangutan. I want to say orangutan. Orangutan land. <laughs> orangutan land. Is it orangutans or orangutans? Okay, so we found out it's actually a ring of tan. Hey, hey guys. So we have finally taken, ooh, lightning, our two planes. We are actually staying at an overnight hotel and then tomorrow morning is the real adventure where we will Go ahead and get on our boat and start the trek to the orangutans. And my daddy said, stay away from Juliet. And I was crying on the staircase, begging you, please don't go. Did you know that I can play this on the piano? No. And this is the last song I ever played on piano before. I had a competition, sorry, story time. I had a competition and I went up and sat down and I tried to play the song and I completely blanked. And then I left crying and I never played piano again. Are you so, serious? Thanks, love story, Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, let's redeem it yourself. You should play it like, like piano I crushing. I play it all the time now, it's the only one I remember now. It's the only song I remember now. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole Two hours later. Welcome to our five-star hotel. It's actually really cute for being out all the way out here. Look at the little details. We're gonna be staying here overnight and then tomorrow morning, like I said, the real adventure begins where we're going to go trek and sleep on the boat. And the mission now is to get some food because we are so hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited to eat. We are looking for raincoats and apparently we're this we're in like this like emporium where there's so many clothes. How very this is so cool. Kind of reminds me, we were saying like Bangkok, Thailand. I did some shopping there and this is exactly just like it. Hello. So we just took a taxi about 10 minutes away and we're by the river where we're gonna start our adventure tomorrow. And we're on our way to find uh, one of the cute little westernized restaurants. It's about a 17 minute walk, but it's okay because look at our beautiful view. Oh, by the way, you guys, let me introduce you to everyone on this trip. We've got Sydney, an amazing photographer and cool human. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I just kicked the cat. Uh, uh, we got Taylin, who likes to oh kick my cats. God. I don't normally kick cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's actually from California like I am. We got Natasha. Hi. My best friend in the whole oh, wide world. Stop. Canadian. That's how you know they're cool. That's my definition. And then those people down there, which all, yeah, we know them. You guys, this is like so unique. We've traveled around Indonesia for a, a bit now and I haven't seen any part of Indonesia to be like this part. I guess because everyone lives by a river. It's like, oh, it's like river life. We've got cute little houses that are so colorful around here. I guess they're just like used to the tourism because obviously people come to go uh, see the orangutans here. I'm enjoying this, it's so different. I really, I really feel like I'm in Southeast Asia right now and I'm in the deep depths of it and I'm really enjoying it. Also, I'm noticing that the street food here is a lot more different than what we've got in like Bali or different parts of Indonesia that I've seen so far. Like I've never seen this. I don't know what this is. So good. Oh, weenies. I love weenies. <laughs> also, I'm excited. I heard that there's crocodiles in these rivers, which is interesting to see because everyone's like just playing in them, which I'm sure there's none here, but I'm excited. I really hope that we get to see a bunch of crocs on our adventure. I looked on Google Maps for like the best restaurants around here, and there's actually really cute westernized restaurants around the river here. So here's the before picture of how it's supposed to look like, and then now let's go see what it actually looks like. Ordered. I ordered a veggie bowl. We did too. Yeah. Like we were just realizing like we live in Southeast Asia. Never ever in my life growing up did I ever think that like I would live outside of the US ever. So, so it's so cool. Like Southeast Asia. It's so crazy. Guys, my latte looks so cute. I got a Tara latte. It tastes like strawberries. 
is gula. You have like uh, Coca-Cola or Sprite. It's basically liquid molasses. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Can't drink this. Mm, how's your food? It's okay. Yeah? It's good. It'll do. Anytime I ask for veggies, it's like if you were to like dip they just like give me this and, like, and nothing else. <laughs> so I gotta learn the names of vegetables so I can specifically ask for them. Our adventure is starting! Woo! We see your boat, it's right over there. Or there. There's like five of them. And it starts right now. Welcome to our boat for the next few days. This is the boat we will be going down the river to go find some orangutans. Let me show you around because it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of going down the Nile River in Egypt, just a little bit smaller. We're starting the journey. Woo! So apparently we uh, are all crashing right here. This is our room. There are no rooms. We're gonna have a giant big slumber party and I'm excited about it. You're in your room already. You're in your room. You're in your room. You're in your room. This is gonna be fun. So we're about to try some traditional Indian This one? Cake. There's coconut inside apparently. Mm, I love trying new things. It's green. Is it? Inside is what? Brown sugar? Coconut. coconut. What is this cake called? Don't be. Try some don't be. It's so good. It's actually yummy. Yeah. Good. Officially getting jungly up in here. We have found the best spot on the boat, which is right in front of it. Look at that beautiful view of this boat in front of us. We'll surpass it in just a second. But wow, we were just saying how gorgeous and so unique and different this is from like the rest of our Indonesian trips that we've had so far. Everything has been like blue water, beautiful, but this is like adventurous and different and very jungly. We're gonna have some breakfast, lunch soon. We're gonna get to the orangutans in a few hours. We're gonna feed them. And yeah, that's our day for today. This is cool. Highly recommend to do this trip if you guys ever are here in Borneo. What's your favorite part so far? I love the reflection on the water. Right. It's really yeah, pretty. Like the, the, the pretty. And just like open serenness. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm in like a the, real Nat oh Geo documentary right now. <laughs> oh wow, look, abandoned ship. That's cool. I feel relaxed. Doesn't I can't say that about every trip. <laughs> no. It's actually very relaxing. I didn't expect this to be this relaxing. It kind of reminds me of like going down the Nile River. Yeah. Um, that was also another one. It's a bit different and it's really awesome. Well, we're being reminded that we are in a tropical rainforest. They got the rain barriers put down faster than like an F1 formula yeah. tire changing scene. They just like dropped it all down. Boo boo boo. Four people immobilized from beneath the ship. A few moments later. No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh But uh, that was delicious, by the way. Food was, it was really good. <laughs> now it's nap time. I'm actually really tired. We didn't sleep much last night. So we're gonna take a nap before we go trek to see some orangutans. And this is our room. This, these are our beds for tonight. <laughs> it's actually really relaxing with the rain outside. It's so beautiful. We're getting ready to go trek and see the orangutan. Take my hat. Your earrings are Sponsored by Natasha. Ooh. Finally, 
So about three hours up the river, and now we're heading into the jungle to find Ruby. Ready? I'm jungly. I think we're both matching, actually. Mm -hmm. Our adventure has officially begun. We have stepped foot into the forest. By the way, fun the facts. Rainforest in Borneo. Yes, this is the oldest rainforest in the entire world. Not only that, it is one of the most biodiverse forest, uh, rainforests in the world. And, and, go ahead. It's home to three countries. Yeah, it's Brunei, Indonesia, what's the third one? Malaysia. And Malaysia, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, fun facts for the day. And we are currently doing mating calls to try and find some orangutans. So what happens is we're here in the wild and they offer bananas to the orangutans every single day at the same time. And in order to let them know that we're here to bring them bananas, uh, we make this certain sound and it's like, you something like that. <laughs> uh, but I, he, they, uh, the guy told us something really interesting. Jeffrey said that there are no bananas on this they island. They can't grow in the wild. They here. can't grow here, and that's well, because they do, but the monkeys eat them right before they sprout into trees. So, so they just tried. can't. They've tried. So it's like dessert, basically, and that's why they come to eat the bananas. So that's what we're about to do. We're gonna go see some orangutans the in the jungle wild. Today. Yeah, for real. Look hey. at, I actually, we uh, are pants. matching. Look at our camel pants. pants. They're so cute. Okay. <laughs> we planned this out, so last minute. Worked out pretty good. Yay. Guys, we have spotted our first orangutan. This is so cool. It has a baby. It has a baby. And it makes it sounds like it's a dinosaur. Like really deep croaking sounds. It's so cool. Dude, what the heck? It's amazing. It's huge. They're oh like twice God. our size. It's so cute. So we finally came to the spot where they feed the orangutans and I'm not gonna lie. We did not expect like this is a place where they come to all the time. Like there's actual seats. Seats and then there's a platform and then you can actually like see all the orangutans there, which, you know, yeah, it's like a show, and uh, I'm really grateful that we get the opportunity, but it is a little touristy, but this I is, didn't expect it. Yeah, I didn't expect it, but it's still really cool, because you get to observe them from, like, a really safe distance, and not only that, but there are significantly less tourists here right now, compared to the 130 plus some boats that there usually is in Borneo doing these tourist trips. Wow. So these orangutans used to be ex-captive orangutans mixed in with wild orangutans and they're not reliant on the food that they're fed through with the bananas here. This is just kind of like a supplemental little dessert they get. Um, so yeah, it seems like there's not a lot of orangutans here which means that there's fruits plentiful in the forest and there's lots of food for them. They don't need to be here right now. So that's a good thing. There's about four of them here right now. I wonder if more will come, but it's so, so cool to see them up close. Get it, Ruby, get it. Did you get the shot? I did. You're gonna see. Hot. I wasn't sweating, but as soon as you pick up this camera, this big bad boy, <laughs> you begin sweating a lot. <laughs> You're like intensely just trying to get the shot while people around you, mosquitoes are biting you and the humidity, it's crazy. Jeffrey here is telling us that we're going to be doing a night walk, night walk yeah. to go find some tarantulas. <laughs> or the night, uh, night animals. Night animals. Um, I'm not a fan of tarantulas. I don't Hopefully think we should do that. I think we should find something else. Jeffrey said we're going to go find tarantulas tonight. Yep, that's the plan. Ooh, that's the plan. Really? Yeah. That. yeah. That's cool. Not right? But why? Yeah, I think so. Because it's cool. You guys, we were having some fried banana and then all of a sudden we heard some little squeaks. And turns out it's like little baby monkeys out in the forest. I forgot what kind it is. I'll let you know when I find out. But they're so cute and tiny. They're hopping from one branch to the next and they're making the cutest little sounds. They're so agile. They're pretty big. Yeah, I'm surprised. One male and all female? Oh! <laughs> so this guy has got many ladies. He's the only male. Yeah. And they also have really big noses, so hopefully we'll get a close-up shot of that and I'll get to show you what that looks like. Uh -oh. 
Wham up. How many monkeys would you say are here right now? At least 25. Oh, so many. 25 monkeys in the trees. It's so cool. Like, it's just interesting to see this little family of monkeys hanging out. There's about three different packs of monkeys, and we were just chilling on the boat, and we heard noises, so we pulled over, and now we're swarmed by monkeys just playing in the More trees. More than 40 so monkeys. Cute. More than 40 monkeys! At this beautiful dinner, candlelit dinner, they even have LED lights set up. This looks so beautiful. We've got calamari, tofu, veggies, food, friends. Wow, what a day. You guys, what has been your favorite part so far from today's adventure? The orangutans. Yeah. Orangutan. <laughs> okay, but like a specific moment. Seeing Ryan dance. Yeah, hearing the orangutans. Hearing the orangutans, I agree. They, they sound like dinosaurs. It was the craziest thing. Anyways, let's dive into the food because I'm so hungry. It's after dinner and we had a lovely dinner. But now it's time to go into the jungle. So we're gonna go look for tarantulas and night critters that come out when the sun sets. Yes. So I'm pretty scared. If y'all know me, I'm like terrified of spiders and snakes. So, um, yeah, I'm not really, you know, I don't know about this. I heard that there are really vicious jaguars out in the, <laughs> the jungle, so. Yeah. Isn't that your favorite animal? Yeah. Let's go. No! <laughs> Dude, stop, 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 stop. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting wet. Wow, this oh, is a huge cool. puddle. There ain't no walkways here. To the left. To the left, to the left. This is the balance beam event, and she sticks it. Oh, wow. All right, guys, so just showered. I feel a million times better. The humidity and the bugs and the everything is pretty intense here. How are you feeling? Uh, a little sticky, but a lot better after a shower. It's just definitely out of your comfort zone, you know? You're yeah, sticky little, and hot, yeah. but this is comfortable, so yeah. that's what counts. I'm excited to be sleeping under the stars tonight and mm -hmm. with the sounds of the jungle. That's so cool. It's definitely been like a dream of mine. I feel like I'm in a Tarzan movie. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a little room tour here. So what you got here is a mosquito net coming through there. From there you're greeted by the orange map and um, that's the room. So. Don't forget about your neighbors. Hey, Woo. Neighbors. hey. <laughs> so, yeah. Good night. It's breakfast time and they took my request last night and they made banana pancakes. How sweet are they for doing that? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to see more orangutans in like 30 minutes after breakfast. How's everyone feeling after last night's sleep? Fantastic. Pretty good. Like I'd say 7 out of 10. Yeah, I agree. You? I feel like the sleep was great, but my back hurts. So I agree with that. I had the best sleep. It's funny. I just woke up like this. Because the second I turned 25, I started having rock problems, which I've never had in my life, so it's interesting. We just saw a wild orangutan, but I didn't because I couldn't find my glasses in time and it ran away before I could see it. It's right there. Where? Oh, it's still there. It doesn't eat bananas because it's 100% wild. Ooh. It's 100% wild, guys. But I have one just in case. All right. And? It is time for our second trek of the trip. I don't know where we are. You kind of just make various stops along the river and you go to different um, feeding stations for the orangutans. So they're having breakfast right now and we're on our way to see them. We're an hour late. We're an hour late. Yeah. <laughs> we so slept in. We're still eating. Yeah, hopefully. I think part of the time you're kind of trekking into the jungle and then the other part is like paved for you, like this wooden platform makes it so much easier. So it's not an extremely wild experience as you would think. It's kind of touristy, but still very worth it. It's been really cool. Yeah, I like I've it. I've enjoyed, the, the best parts for me have been just like hanging out on the boat. Guys, we found the orangutans. There is one right now, just chilling, eating some bananas. He's so cute. He's like sitting down, just pondering life. It's really cute. Of the babies. Ah, babies are my favorite. They're just like hanging around. They're so cute. Ah. 
Um, so amazing to like watch a different species that looks almost identical to you. Halen just said that orangutans <laughs> are the second next to humans that stay the longest with their babies. So cute. I can't believe they do this all in trees. Like, think about it. Living your life up in treetops. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Tiring, honestly. No. Also scary, you know? But it seems like this is, you it's know, this like is what they do. Fluffy human looking things hanging in trees right they're now. They're so human like. Like, They sit and they ponder and they think, and you can tell that they're just like thinking about life. It's really We're interesting. Just like completely relaxed. <laughs> faster, faster. I'll find something there. Just in what? No, you're lying. Oh, right here. It's oh real. Oh. Wow. So he literally, he is currently hiding from the rain, so he came under this cover. You good? This is crazy. I thought they were joking. Wow, you guys, this is a 13 year old orangutan, and he's hiding under this little structure, just like we are. He's just chilling. Heidi, this is, we're so close to him. He just came to hide under this as we are waiting for a boat. It's right over there. You guys. That, 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 that. Oh my God, he's going on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the orangutan just stole our chips. I was literally guys, about to jump into the crocodile infested waters than be mangled by an orangutan. Grab it in a second, or it's no literally chef. right there in the, in the top one. Honestly, See that, that bag right there? you just can't yeah. get better than this. This is so awesome. We've got the breeze coming in. It's just in the top, yeah, the top. The part jungle there. smells, fresh food. Just being on a boat is so relaxing. I love this. It is our final third trek to go find orangutans for one last time and it's about four o'clock so it's getting later in the evening and apparently we're going on a 40 minute hike which is the longest out of all the ones that we've had so far guys come look we found the orangutans again this time there's a lot more action they're actually eating bananas there's more we just came at the beginning of the feeding so I think that's why even the little wild boars are here as well. Anyways, you guys, we are here and we are watching some orangutans just swing around. And, you know, I'm not a photographer, but I take a lot of interest in it, especially when it comes to wildlife photography. When I went to Tanzania, Uganda, and just like when I see wildlife, that's when like my photography like, comes out and I want to be an ideal photographer. <laughs> but let me show you some of the photos I got. I think they're pretty cute. We're getting from here back onto our boat. Guys, we have my favorite pisangorang. Seriously, pisangorang fried banana. It's so good here and one of the best desserts that they have in Indonesia. Uh, we just saw the most amazing scene of orangutans down our last and final stop. We're on our way to a really awesome spot where we're going to witness thousands of fireflies right on the riverbank tonight. Excited to see what that looks like because I heard that's one of the dreamiest parts of going to Borneo and seeing the orangutans. That lunch was amazing, so good. Now we're super relaxed, <laughs> reading Kindle and chilling because we decided our goal for the rest of the evening 
is to find a crocodile because we haven't seen one. I don't know how that's possible. So we're out here just chilling, watching out there. Hopefully we find a crocodile for the end of tonight. Also, we've been pretty lucky with the weather. Like it just rained for a little bit, which is a really great part to experience but it's also been really sunny and beautiful. How is it just pondering life, baby? I have no idea. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Very lovely. I feel like uh, I'm in Florida. I feel like yeah, I know. Night. Same, honestly. I feel like I'm in Florida too, kind of. Good morning, Natasha. Hey. So last night we were driving through the river and there are thousands and thousands of fireflies that illuminate the palm trees looking for mates. It's honestly like one of the coolest Nat Geo moments I've ever had in my life. Really, to be able to be in Borneo while watching fireflies at night was just the craziest thing ever. It was, it was magical. I, I felt like I was in Life of Pi. So just, you know, keep that into account if you're thinking about coming here. That's like a definite yes experience to have. This trip is coming to an end, but I had such a fun time. Right, guys? Yeah. 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 I forgot about the stars. Oh, also, some of the best stargazing. We saw shooting stars. It was a clear sky. This We saw the Milky Way. It was honestly like so, so awesome. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Did you just shower? I just, I showered. Yeah. I also got a boo-boo. Mm -hmm. I made myself a boo-boo. It looks quite infectedly gross. It doesn't and look great though. They don't have anything on the boat for it. I literally just scratched my mosquito bite. This happens every time. That's from a mosquito bite? Yep. Yeah. Ew, babe. <laughs> That's so gross. All right, you guys, that is it for our Borneo trip. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching us trek with your orangutans. If you're coming to Indonesia, definitely consider coming to do the same thing because it, it was such an awesome, real trip. We had so much the fun. tour was so cool. Yeah, so once again, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have the best day ever. Bye.